Hey, it's Jeremy. Jeep of the Midwest. If this looks small to you, it's because it is. Doing something a little different. Bad Boy Buggy based on uh, basically a golf cart. I mean, it is basically a golf cart. But my papa has, uh, my dad has wheeled this thing pretty hard and it needs wheel bearings and seals. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to pull the shaft and redneck some bearings onto it. Bearings are right here. Mark that with bearings and seals. I've already taken the, the outside uh, clips off. Which suck, but you know. Alright, I'm gonna get this set up. Slide hammer. So, I have this like it is because I have it like this. Because the lug nuts won't go any further in. This is so tight right here. But I have the, the axle nut on here. It's basically a, like a full floating axle. And I'm going to attach a slide hammer in here. It won't use, you know, I'm just pressing against itself if I do it the other way. Um, I'm going to slide hammer it out. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. And first time's a charm. That's out. You can see there's a bearing. And then the seal is in there. I'm going to go ahead and pull this axle shaft out. And before I do the seal, I'm going to do the bearing. So I have uh, the nut on the end of the axle. And you can see that that bearing is trash. I'm going to set this crescent wrench here which I'm actually surprised Dan doesn't have a bigger one but it's probably someplace I just didn't find it I'm gonna set this on here and I'm gonna hit it right here with a hammer and beat that bearing off that didn't sound right but you know what I mean I did spray it with a little bit of WD-40 to give it some lube I won't be able to show it because I definitely need two hands and I'm not working in my shop. So, um, you get the picture. Hit this here. Bearing slides off. So, three hits. You can see. Well, I don't want to touch it. Um, Bare-handed. Because, you know, one of, there's, there's many lovely smells in the automotive world, like uh, fresh tires, burnouts, and uh, yeah, it, one of those is not gear oil, which is all over the shaft. So um, I'm going to go get the other bearing, and we're going to reverse it, spray some lube on here, and hammer it on. Same way. So here's the setup. Get this thing on the table so it's not on the splines, holding the shaft. We've got the new bearings on here. I'm going to spray them down. A little WD, give it a little lubricant. And essentially I'm going to do the same thing opposite. Probably not three swings, I'll probably tap it more. Put this on here and hit here move it around tap it down until it seats against this collar again doing this by myself uh, i will uh be back in a second after it's seated so you can see it's seated hammering method i put this nut back on here to protect the threads i did actually hit it but it was with a dead blow so it probably wouldn't have hurt it so next steps I did not show you taking off the, I may shoot, video it on the other side so you see. Um, there's another snap ring in here. You can see all this bearing material. There's another snap ring in here. And then there's a seal. So I'm gonna use snack, snap ring pliers. I'm gonna pull that snap ring out. If you've never seen one before, look like this you put the points 
of this in, squeeze and work it out. And then I could probably, I won't be able to, I'll need two hands because that's frustrating as hell. But um, I'll show you pulling the seal. That's not too bad. Behind this, there is a seal. And I'm just going to go ahead and replace it since they came with the kit. Better safe than sorry. Honestly, you're looking at the most frustrating part of this whole job. I use the snap ring pliers to get this sucker loose. Now I'm just going to work it out here. Watch your eyes. I ended up having to buy a special pair of garage glasses. So there that is. And back here, that's part of the seal. Back here is the rest of the seal. I'm gonna get a seal puller, pull that out. Seal puller, pick this up at O'Reilly's. Get it back in here. And pull. And there it is. I'm gonna reverse it. So I'm going to take this, this seal, filled it with grease because the, the one I pulled out was full of grease. I'm gonna tap it in with one inch socket. And I'm gonna get it past this groove. So there's a groove here for the outer snap ring. There's a groove here for the inner snap ring. But before I do, I'm gonna wipe it out. And set this in there. And I'm gonna make sure I drive it in past the second groove. You can see it's already past the first groove. Be back when that's done. It's in, you can see one, two grooves. You can almost push it in with your finger. Next thing, I'm gonna put the second snap ring, the further back snap ring in. And then I'll slide the axle shaft in. And then I'll put the outer snap ring in and that snap rings locate the bearing in there for the axle. And the bearing is seated so it sets the proper depth. Snap rings tend to go in much easier. You can see it's in there. Make sure it's seated in the groove. So I put some grease on here. Grease the seal. I'm gonna slowly, carefully slide it in. put that outer snap ring on first try something I always do take a pair of pliers and make sure it is seated and give it a old visual look all right Ready to put the nut back on and the brakes and wheel. But that is how you change a bearing and seal on a bad boy buggy, which is also, I can't remember, what's the brand of golf cart this is the same as? Easy Go. Easy Go. And it's got a Spicer axle, so that could be several different golf carts, but bad boy buggy and an Easy Go. So, uh, if you like it, you know, if it helped, comment, uh, subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up, let us know it helped. Thanks. This is Rink Amateur Garage.